Hey, Wayne here, and today I have the Actbest Z Cool foldable e bike. This one is a dual suspension e bike. We're going to get it out of the box and get it put together right now. Okay, so inside the boxes, you got your power supply, a light, a toolkit, a user instruction manual your keys for the bike, a gift bag. This this one here, this is a um, small bike cover. So good to have, if you're, especially if you're gonna keep it outside. And you have your pedals. Now the pedals come in a right and a left. Make sure you get that right when you go to put them on the bike because the right side will screw on clockwise while the left will screw on counterclockwise. To prepare for the handlebar, you're going to lift the stem up and put this latch into place and just lock it in. Next, you're going to want to remove this clamp so that you can open this up and fit the handlebar inside. Next, take your handlebar, fit it back in. Close this clamp here and reattach the latch. And tighten it up. To prepare for the front tire and wheel, use the wrench that they give you. Loosen this up really good. Do it on both sides. You should be able to put your foot on there and lift it right out. When you put the front tire onto the bike, you're going to make sure that this uh, rotor, this brake rotor, fits right in between these brake pads right here. So if there's a, any kind of a piece in there to protect it, just pull that out. Mine didn't have one, so it should be good to go. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is probably just go ahead and remove the uh, lug nut washer and that locking washer and then put them back on in the same order so it'll be locking washer washer to lug nut so let's go ahead and get that installed so i left the battery out of this bike and by doing that it made it pretty darn light so it makes it a lot easier to mount this front tire especially if you are alone And there it goes. Okay, so as you can see, if you look closely, I have the brake rotor in between the brake pads right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the lock washer. And there is a hole up here. So you're going to fit that locking part right in there. Put a washer on. And then the lug nut. And you can use the 15 millimeter wrench that came with the bike that was supplied by Akbes. And you'll tighten that up. And you'll tighten it more than that, but get it as tight as you can. Go around to the other side, do the same thing. Now, I wanted to mention the bike came with these lug nut covers, but they're not for these. I believe these are for the rear because these are black, this is black. And plus they don't really fit on here anyway. So these will go on the rear of the bike. So everything matches up nice and black. One quick note, before I put the tire on, I took a look at it. And at least on the tire I have, the tires that come with your bike might be different. Cause I know some of these companies don't always send out exact same tires for every bike. But um, on this bike, it's 35 PSI. So 35 pounds of pressure here for this tire and the rear. You might want to look at it before you put it on. It's a little easier to see. But otherwise, it's, it's right here on the sidewall. So check yours out and make sure you get the right amount of air pressure in each tire before you go riding. So now is a good time to install both the front light and front fender at the same time. And for this, you're only gonna need your one of your hex keys and, and your 
wrench. You're going to go ahead and remove this long threaded screw here, which is only finger tight for, for mine. And you're going to take the light and pass the screw through it, then put that through the fender, back through the fork on the bike, and uh, get it going a little bit, then I'll straighten everything out and tighten it down. Then once you have that on nice and tight, the only thing left to do is to connect your light cable. And there is a little tab inside. Just line that up with the three pins, put it together, and just push it on, and it'll snap shut. I'm going to take the camera and move it down so you can see where the bottom of the fender connects to the bike. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to loosen this on both sides of the bike. Actually remove them from the bike. Line it up. Feed the screw back through and tighten it down. And then make sure you do the same thing on the other side. And if everything looks nice and straight, then uh, tighten it down completely so that it's all done. Okay, when you're putting the pedals on, uh, some pedals, they'll have stickers on them. The ones I got didn't, but they are marked on the inside with an R and, a, and an L, right and left. So make sure when you're putting the right side on, you tighten it up clockwise. And when you do the other side, the left side, make sure that you do that counterclockwise. And uh, that'll be it for the pedals. A couple of things to note on the battery. The battery is also uh, part of the seat. So when you put this battery in, there is a maximum and a minimum insert area right here. So you can, it has markings so you can kind of remember where your favorite part uh, placement is. The other thing to note though is there is a little tab right here. So if this is all the way down, you won't be able to pull that latch out and put the seat in and vice versa, if the, once the seat is in, you lock that down, you'll need, this, you'll need the key to get it unlocked to, to get the battery back out. So let's go ahead and slide that battery in. And I'm just gonna put it almost all the way in. Put the latch down. And now the seat is locked in, you can't get it out. Now this cord right here goes around the other side of the battery, which I will turn the bike, bike around right now to show you how that plugs in. The battery cable is really easy to connect. You just place it on, listen for that little snap, and it's on, it's locked in, it won't come off. Now, if you wanna remove it, take the blue piece here, twist it to the left, and pull out. And that's it. To turn your bike on, you're first gonna to wanna to push the button on the battery right under the seat. When you push it in, it'll turn green. So make sure you push it down all the way and it should turn green. Once it turns green, now you can go over to your handlebar and push the button labeled M. Hold it down for a second and your bike will turn on. All right, now that you have your bike completely assembled, make sure to go back over it and that everything is nice and tight and straight. Make sure the battery is fully charged. The tires have the proper uh, air pressure in them. Get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.